Bam, what's new guys? Back with the fresh final review. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at some Marmot figures. Yes, Marmot figures. Why no X Plus? Because I got to be honest with you, I'm kind of getting bored with X Plus. Like I sit here, I do the X Plus figures, and I'm like, yeah, it's got detail. Yeah, it's charcoal gray. Yeah, the dorsal plates. Oh, yeah, I almost knocked it off the table. Yeah, lots of detail. Oh, it's superb. Rick boy, this blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of getting bored with it. Okay? I have two Detolves and some other bins of Marmots, M1s, Toy Graph, Mar uh, not Marusan, I have Gigabrain, CCP, I gotta look over here at the Detolves, uh, I said M1, uh, some vintage stuff that I dig, okay, other than just blah, X plus behind me, okay, so... I figured I'm going to start with these guys here. You know, there's been a couple people out there asking me to do more Sofubi, you know, stylized vinyl figures. And I figured these two are like, I got to talk about these. I wanted to do a video about these back in 2015 when they came out. So what are they? These are the, uh, they were exclusive at G-Fest by Chibi Goji Toys. Linda Conrad had these made through Marmot. They are Marmot figures, yes, we figured that out already, yes, good, and they are the Monster Heaven sculpts of Godzilla 2000 and Orga from the movie Godzilla 2000, right, right, okay, so how did I get these? At G-Fest 2015, it was G-Fest 22, I think, I can't remember, 2015, I remember that, and... What was going on is that there was a raffle. You had to get a raffle ticket to win these. Well, you had to get a raffle ticket, and your ticket had to get called. Uh, so what was the catch? Just win, basically. But the bigger thing is, is that there was only 10 of these sets available at G-Fest. Only 10 were made for G-Fest. I believe there's more out there than was what was given at G-Fest, but I can't confirm that. But what do I know? So... 10 sets at G-Fest, you get a raffle ticket, and there was a raffle at the deal in the deals room, and if you got your ticket called, that's how you won them. And I gotta be honest, obviously, I won a set, I remember uh, when my number, I remember the last two numbers of my ticket was 5-4, so I was like, it's gotta be a good sign, 54, for Godzilla, 54, even though it's Godzilla 2000, but still, it was like, it's a good sign. And when my ticket was called out, I remember screaming the F word, like, Fresh! Really, really loud. It was the other four-letter F word, actually. Um, and Fresh is five letters, but whatever. You know, it's not English class, people. And I was so excited because I was like, man, like, what? there was so many people around the table when the raffle started. It was, And it was a lot of tickets. I, I thought there was a lot of tickets. At least that's what I remember. But there was a lot of people around. A lot of people were excited. Um, I was standing next to Brian, buddy Brian, and he won a set, too, which was dope. Um... And it was so exciting. I think the, I think each figure cost about 200 bucks. So I was like, not to mention, I was already at the point in time where I was like, oh, man, I'm done spending money at G-Fest, you know, blah, 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 blah. I got a raffle ticket. You didn't have to pay anything for the raffle ticket. So I was like, ah, oh, chances I'm going to win. I never won anything. But then when I won, I was like, yep, so excited. I was like, damn, now I'm going to spend another 400 bucks. I'm like, shit, excuse my French. Ho -ho. And But I didn't care. These figures are beautiful. Um, Godzilla is, now both figures, I'm going to kind of talk about both of them at the same time, they went off the repeat, because they're done in pretty much the same fashion. Uh, yes, they were a set, that's why they are painted very, very similar to each other. They are clear vinyl, painted with uh, blue highlights, purple, pinkish highlights for Godzilla's dorsal plates. Orga has some on his chest, stomach, and his, uh, up on his shell area there. Their toes are painted in a tintish yellow. Same thing for the fingernails. So that looks awesome. Uh, the insides are filled with a, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like a tinsel paper, um, uh, reflective tissue paper, if you will. So that's what's on the inside. I thought that was really a nice touch because something I say about X Plus figures is with these, with that, that reflective paper on the inside, it gives the figures depth. Lots of depth. Really, really nice depth. Godzilla looks awesome. His eyes are painted gold with black pupils. Orga is in pretty much the same fashion, except his eyes are just all gold. They have gold teeth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it's just really gorgeous looking. These figures are beautiful. They're so limited. Here's a little funny little side note. I had somebody on Instagram uh, 
ask me if I was willing to sell mine. And he's at, it's not the first time he asked. And I'm like, no, sorry, it's not for sale. So for shits and giggles, I was like, I wonder, I was like, let me see how much he's willing to offer. And he says $2,000. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, crazy this. That's nuts. $2,000. Hm, no way. I'm sorry. I love this figure. Not, 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 not definitely not sell it. Um, then he asked somebody else that has it if they would be willing to sell theirs. And he offered $1,500. No. But, I mean, I'm not selling mine. Not to mention, mine is signed by Tom Kitagawa, Tomatsu Kitagawa, who's the suit actor in this. I had this signed at, um, I think, Monster Mania in New Jersey, August of 2015. Literally a month after I won the damn thing. I was like, it's the perfect figure to get signed. There's only 10 of them, and now it's signed by the suit actor. Perfect. Mwah. Beautiful. Okay? So when you got these, they came with, you know, they were in two bags with some candy, some little pins, some chibi pins, uh, or, you know, uh, chibi goji toy pins, uh, Mentos, Lifesavers, and some other stuff. I don't remember. I actually probably have all that stuff in, in a bin in my bedroom. Uh, there was header cards and everything. Not the traditional Monster Heaven header cards, but either way. Um, is there glitter on this? There is no glitter. I thought there was glitter, but it looks like the glitter because of the paper. So the paper that's on the inside. So really, really cool figures. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I love them. I, they're beautiful. They are rare, very, very rare. Like I said, only ten were given out at G Fest, and you had to win it by raffle. So it just makes them that more special. Um, and they are definitely certified fresh in my book. Um, they do kind of smell fresh because there's nothing better than pulling a vinyl figure out of a detail that's closed, and when you open it up, that stink of freshness hits you right in the face. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah, you do. For those that have the enclosed cases. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much the review for these two. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They are They are mm, awesome. Okay. Definitely fresh vinyl. Marmot vinyl. And with that said, I'll see you on the next. I'll see you on my next fresh vinyl review. And remember, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. Bam. <laughs>